Good morning. Glory be to God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor, adoration. As we hear your word, bless this word in our heart in Jesus' name. Once again, good morning. As we hear this exhortation to the glory of God. This morning, I want to look at the topic titled Is Emotional Pain? When we talk about his emotional pain, we are talking about the pain of Christ in this end. How he felt when he was about to die, when it was set time for him fulfilling his destiny. What he go through when he was praying. How that blood, that sweat became blood, as I counted by the book of Luke. This was because he was in pain. He became so emotional looking at the world, looking at the process, looking at that is to tell you. Christ at the time, he was flesh. He was submitted to the principle of the flesh at that particular time. He became surmounted to the nature of flesh at that particular time. In the book of Luke chapter 22 verse 44, when he said, and be in an hard body, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Luke chapter 22 verse 44. It is interesting that Luke is the only one of the gospel writers to mention that Jesus sweat was great drop of blood. This is probably because Luke was a physician. Colossians 4 14. And these parts had special significance to him. There have been documented medical cases of people actually sweating drops of blood under extreme emotional pressure. Luke also is the only writer to mention that an angel strengthened Jesus. The other time this happened was when Jesus fasted for 40 days in the wilderness and the devil tempted him. The Bible says that the angel ministered unto him. Mark 1 13. Here too, he needed supernatural strength to endure his suffering. The use of the word, as it were, might also mean that the sweat of Jesus was only comparable to blood in consistency or size. But it certainly underscores the effect Jesus agony had on his physical body. His suffering for us were more than just physical. In the garden, he suffered emotional or emotionally almost to the point of death as Luke records. As an angel out to come and give him strength or the emotional struggle alone would have killed him. Living in this world is not an easy one. I am sure you have had some difficult and maybe even more some tragic time in your life. However, have you ever been so emotional stressed, emotionally stressed? stress that you actually start sweating blood this is what jesus went through for you he took all your emotional pains and distress so that you could be free if you have any doubts you want you to be happy and free of cares today remember the blood he shed for you in the garden in the mountain of prayer he had it all for your sake he bear it all for your sake. He became down for you to be restored. He took all the emotions. What you had or what you would have gone through, he bear it on his own. He's calling you. He wants to help you. He wants to redeem you. He wants the value of him to be implanted in you. Why not you run to Jesus? He's calling you, my son, my daughter. I need you. I remember Joshua Osatoan. Join me tomorrow for another exhortation. 
Tinte, stay safe.